angles of elevation and depression. So in order to understand this, we need to draw some diagrams. So let's say we have the ground here. And you are standing here on the ground. We had something tall here that you were looking at at the top. Your eyesight would be looking at it like this. And the angle that it makes with the ground, we call the angle of elevation. And this line here is your line of sight. So another diagram. So let's say this time you're up here, looking down at something over here. So first you start off looking straight, then you look down at it. The angle in between the horizontal and your line of sight we call the angle of depression. And this is your line of sight. With this obviously being the ground. Now what's important is that this horizontal line and this horizontal line are parallel and we know when you have parallel lines in a transversal that alternate angles are equal. So this angle actually equals this angle which would be the angle of elevation if someone was looking up at you. So this angle here is the angle of elevation and we can now we know that the angle of elevation equals the angle of depression. Okay. A very common mistake is that this angle is gets confused with the angle of depression. So remember, the angle of depression always has to act from the horizontal downwards. So you've got to start horizontal and downwards for the angle of depression. And we can just use our normal trig, trig functions to solve problems with angles of elevation and depression. Let's have a look at an example. Let's say you are 40 metres away from a tower. And you look at the top, you look at the top with an angle of elevation of 38 degrees. What is the height of the tower? So in order to do this, we need to draw a diagram first. So let's draw the ground. Let's draw a tower. And we're after the height of this tower. Let's call it H. Let's say you're here on the ground and you're gonna look up at the tower. We also know you're 40 meters away from the tower, which means this distance here is 40 meters. And the angle of elevation is 38 degrees. The angle of elevation is from where you are looking upwards. And now, this is just a simple right angle triangle trigonometry problem where we have the opposite side over here and the adjacent side over here when referencing with this angle. So the trig function that uses opposite and adjacent is tan. So we know tan of an angle equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. Let's put in everything we know. 
We know the angle is 38. The opposite side is H and the adjacent side is 40. So we can multiply both sides by 40. 40s cancel out. So H is just going to be 40, 10, 38. We can use our calculator and we get 31 meters to the nearest meter. Let's have a look at another example. Let's say you're at the top of a cliff. And then you see a boat out at sea. So you're at the top of a cliff that's 50 meters high. So the cliff is 50 meters high. And you see a boat out at sea. And the boat is 110 meters away from the cliff. What is the angle of depression? So in order to do this, we're going to need to draw a diagram first. So let's draw it. Let's draw our cliff. We've got the water. And we've got a boat. So the cliff is 50 meters high. So we can put that in. The boat's 110 meters away. We're at the top of the cliff looking down at the boat. And we're after the angle of depression. So remember, it's not the angle in here, it's the angle from the horizontal. So let's draw a horizontal line out, and it's the angle down from the horizontal, so this angle here. To make things more helpful, the angle of depression always equals the angle of elevation from the bottom, so it's the same angle as this one down here. And now we can solve the problem. So this side is opposite the angle we're referencing, because we're referencing this angle now. And this side is adjacent to the angle. So which trig function uses opposite and adjacent? Well, that's tan, because tan of an angle equals the opposite over the adjacent. So let's put in everything we know. We don't know theta, we're trying to work that out. Our opposite side is 50 over our adjacent side, which is 110. We're gonna move the tan over by making it an inverse tan of all the right hand side, so 50 over 110, and we get theta equals 24 degrees to the nearest degree.